In this video, I will show you how to convert this PDF to a Word document. Let's go ahead and get started. Here I have a very basic Node project that I have created just by running npm init and specifying the following options. What I'm going to go ahead and type in npm i at pdf drawn slash pdfnet node. This is a Node.js version of this library. If you're coding in .NET, .NET Core, Java, we have all the different language bindings available as well. The next step is I'm going to go ahead and reference PDF Tron documentation uh, to make sure I'm following the guide correctly. To do so, I'm just going to go ahead and navigate to pdftron.com and go under developer section and jump straight to the Node.js section. Inside of it, under MS Office, let's go ahead and take a look how to convert PDF to MS Office. Now, this is the code snippet that I'm going to go ahead and copy. Now, we do need a few more things just before we go ahead and do this. One thing is I will need this additional uh, resource uh, path to add the module that allows us to do the conversion. By the way, it is powered by the SolidDocs uh, document technology. So if you played around with the SolidDocs SDK, uh, it's actually part of PDFtron SDK now and available uh, as well as a number of other APIs that allow you to convert PDF to Office or Office to PDF. Let's go ahead and download the structured output module. Now, I'm actually on Mac, so I'll go ahead and download the Mac one here. And then after I unzip it, I'm going to go ahead and copy it and put it in the directory of my project. Let's go ahead and place it here. Perfect. Now I can go ahead and reference it to be the root of my directory. Awesome. The next step that I have to go ahead and do is go ahead and provide a license key. To do so, I'm going to go ahead and just generate one off the web PDF Tron website as well. So the easiest path is just to go to Developer, Download Center, and under macOS, for example, I can go ahead and get the trial key and just copy it over. And I will just go ahead and place it here, just like this. Okay. I think we're all good to go, uh, but one thing that I'm just going to adjust is the path to the specific file. So in my case, it's called Income Tax Act. Um, now we do have APIs that allow you to pass in a URL and maybe an array buffer uh, or a base64 as well. So check the PDF Tron documentation. And after I'm satisfied and done, I can go ahead and run node index.js. Now you will see, if you're working on Mac, you will see this message pop up. So I'll just hit OK and I'll go ahead and pop over to my system preferences. And inside of the system preferences, uh, under security and privacy, I can just go ahead and allow um, the specific SDK to run. And under general tab, I can go ahead and say allow anyway. Let's try running it one more time as well. And now we can say that we want to go ahead and open it. And it's done. Now we have our output docx. Let's go ahead and take a look at how it turned out. Now I don't have a specific um, word processor. I'm just using the default Mac preview. And just to protect our SDK, uh, since there is no trial limitations, other than sometimes it grabs and misplaces uh, or rearranges the characters on the output of conversion file. Now, after you pass the production ready license key inside of it, the output is going to be correct. But what it allows you to take a look here is that all the fonts came over correctly, as well as the two column layout uh, in the English and French. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, if you do have any questions, ask them in the comments below.